I hate this story. A Yay! Baby, a baby rabbit was killed during a live radio broadcast. He's not la laughing at the fact that the baby rabbit was killed. He's laughing because he knows how uncomfortable I am. Also, it's such a ridiculous series of words. So the baby rabbit, the bunny, sorry, Brett, was killed during a live radio broadcast to expose the hypocrisy within animal welfare. Okay, this occurred in Denmark. The radio broadcaster, he said, quote, we have certain animals that we care a lot about and the main proportion of all the animals that we eat every day, we don't care about the animal welfare for them. That's a very interesting and important discussion, I think. It's a pity that people are discussing the death of the rabbit and not animal welfare. Now he's upset that his message is getting lost because people are focused on the fact that he killed this bunny. He killed it with a, with a bicycle pump. Okay, he hit it on the head and uh, then snapped its neck. Now, he did say that in zoos, when they feed the rabbits to, like, the, the, the lions, they do the same thing, but they are actually experts, and they're using certain tools. They're using, like, a tool to hit the, ha the, hit the rabbit on the head to make it unconscious, not uh, a bicycle pump that he found lying around in the studio. He did this all live on air. There's a lot of outrage, and his message is lost. It is, but I don't know. Maybe it's not, according to you guys. I think that this is... So upsetting, but we're going to get into it after our five words or less. You know what's delicious? Death. <laughs> <laughs> Little bunny f***, f***. F*** you, f*** you, f*** you. F*** you times a million, f*** you. Wow. I'm so pissed yeah. about this because a baby bunny to be killed like that on air, I get the hypocrisy. I see it all the time. I'm vegan, so I see it. I see people being up in arms about orcas as they should be because of films like Blackfish, but then they're not up in arms about, you know, how grossly mistreated cows and pigs are when they're just as social, when they're just as loving. I get the hypocrisy. But to kill an animal live on air, to me, is so inhumane and, again, People aren't focusing on how grossly mistreated, let's say, pigs are and cows are, as opposed to if you were to watch like a film like like Blackfish, they're talking about what a piece of shit this guy is. So, I, I, yes, he ate it. I do like the fact that he ate it. Yes, he grew up on a farm. So giving him a little bit of a benefit of the doubt there. But I don't think that this was the right way to bring this conversation about. Yeah. I do. Why? I think he nailed it. What? Quite literally in the head. Oh my god, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't so like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I uh have been a vegan for two years. Yeah, I've I been recently a vegan went for a while wandered too. back into vegetarianism. This uh -huh. is a vegan jacket. Good. Yeah. Um, I uh, have very strong opinions about uh, commercialized farming. Me too. And um, the disassociation, the unaccountability, you know, you, you can judge a society by how they treat their animals. And in here in America, the idea that we uh, preem and prod our, and do our little like woo 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 to one animal mm -hmm. and then quite literally torture from birth until like, especially with things like chickens and pigs, they, they've had every aspect of their natural life removed. I know. And they've become com utterly commodified and I just Americans like to perceive ourselves as good and morally good, mm -hmm. but we don't like to do the work and the legwork in order to make that actually come to fruition. Well put, but I don't think a bunny should be should have been sacrificed <laughs> to make the point, but well put. Yeah, a lot of people when they read a story like this put themselves in the position of and Billy again your of the point bunny. of the bunny. And I am the bunny. No, uh, what I think is when you when you read a story like this, the danger is to say um, I don't like this whole thing because the person who brought up the conversation did a terrible, terrible thing. Now I give myself an out, which is to vilify the person who killed a bunny because that sounds terrible. And now I no longer, in, in building on that, I no longer have to think about anything affiliated with it because one person in the discussion I've decided I don't like so I can rightly distance myself from them. So you can say, a lot of people will put this head to head. Should Do I believe in his message or do I think he's a bad person? You can say, I believe he's a bad person. His message is still good. I don't like the way he went about it. I agree with what, you, which, what you're saying. I agree with what you're saying. I do think it's, it's hypocritical. I do not like the way he went about it. So many people were affected by Blackfish because you actually are seen, it's tugging on your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. So many people are affected by films, investigative. That's how I became vegan. I saw investigative behind the scenes reporting, not even reporting, these are people that are 
pretending to be a factory farm worker and they're actually showing it. And then you actually see what happens to these cows, to these pigs. And it's so brutal that you can't get, shake those images. I would prefer to actually see that than someone to be on a radio show and take a bicycle pump and smack. I right. don't like that. But yeah. I think I what, I think what he was bringing like up is that you can see images of those animals being tortured but people don't care about the pig. I think that that's what he was saying. Raise it, kill it, cook it, eat it, and it's this sort of new movement that's based on um, a, a, a fundamental relationship that a human being has about the understanding of life and death and taking that life for food. Yeah. And that um, there is something that happens in the butchering process, or the uh, culling process, I guess is the mm -hmm. killing process, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where a human understands their place in the world, that place in the world and there's an entire like philosophical circle that uh, occurs that is essential for people's basic understanding of life and death. And what that guy did is he put that on his show. He, he, he took that moment, he took that respect for that animal that he said he had and he, he, he had a great appreciation for animals' lives as uh, in this food chain that we have and he got this animal from a pet store uh, very cute little rabbit, oh very fuzzy. God. Counterproductive to make your point. Very fuzzy, mm -hmm. and he captured that moment on radio, I don't like where it. a human being acknowledges the life and death of an animal and make your point a different way. I see where you're coming from. So I don't like it. Others don't like and it. Then, uh, well, we then now, go, now we're in. A, okay, so now let's go for like actual tangible action items that you can do, and if this interests you, and you've decided that you want to take a part. Um, first, there's a show that used to actually be on current TV that was an acquisition from a long time ago called Kill It, Cook It, Eat It, mm -hmm. which is people who uh, either are blatant vegetarians along with the host or, or or people who like, I love meat, I'll eat it, and then go and they actually have to kill, cook much it, eat whatever. Much more humane. Much more humane to do facilities. it that way uh, than second, to second, there's buy food from ink. a factory farm. I agree. There's, food there's, ink, docu yes. there's uh, various documentaries that actually show when farmers decide they want to be more humane yeah. and try to treat their animals better and do things in a less industrial feeling environment and they actually get shut down for violating certain health codes so that's frustrating yeah. and then another thing is i don't know if people watch john oliver they had yeah. yes, the next was a, yes. on the yes. chickens so yeah. amazing these yeah. people it's it's the way that it's set up we yes. millions and millions of yes. chickens a day that right. we kill and eat and the people who want to run better Farms better yes. have these mandates that they that mm -hmm. are not transparent when they sign them. Yeah. They can be changed at any time when the people who are in charge of the facilities themselves, these are the people whose facilities get videotaped and they get a bad rap. They're like, mm -hmm. I want to do better. We need reform. And you're right. You're 100 percent right. And thank you for giving those resources. This, and then the and putting that all together, the yeah. sad fact of it is. The, what makes it so difficult is a lot of people want to put their money to work in what we choose to buy and eat. And in Los Angeles specifically, there's been where we are. There's a, a huge, huge strides have been made by some very amazing chefs to try to make their process more organic and humane. Still, you know, killing, cooking, and eating things. Yeah. Some tides are turning. Maybe right now they start. And hopefully, with, it doesn't take a bird flu to get that tide to turn. Yeah. And hopefully, it doesn't cow. take more animals to be sacrificed on radio shows to take that turn. And also, I want to end with a quote in, in 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 the likes of Paul McCartney said, "If slaughterhouses had glass walls, everybody would would be vegetarian because that's how horrific it is in those places." But before we go, yes. I have a kitten that I want to <laughs> sacrifice. Again. Yeah, let's bah! just bring that. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, you guys. Again. Great topic. Please keep the conversation going. And also, please uh, suggest some resources, too, for other people that have, uh, as Brett did, so we can put some things into action. We love that. And we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Trigger.